Hey guys, what's up? It's Brooke. So today I'm going to be doing the rainbow tag and I'm super super excited to do this video. Um, I know this is like maybe a year old tag so I'm sorry I'm a little late <laughs> but what else is new? So today I just wanted to show you guys products in a certain range of colors that I enjoy so let's get into it. The first color is red and I have two products for this. Um, the one I picked initially was the Pure Seduction Red Plum and Freesia Body Mist, Fragrance Mist thing. I just, whenever I put this on, I'm just like, yes girl, yes. I just, I feel like I got it going, you know? I just, I love this. I think it smells... It smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. Also, I just got this yesterday, so I didn't know if I could include this. Sorry, the hair got wet from the from the fragrance. That happened. So this is a Makeup Forever little mini sample lipstick. And this is what you get if you're a Beauty Insider or a VIB at Sephora. They give you these when your birthday month arrives. And mine was this month. So I don't know the exact thing. It just says on it, Rouge Artist Natural num, N9 is what it says. Um, but the color, it's just, it's gorgeous. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I'm wearing it right now. It's kind of like a Kylie Jenner color, kind of like a muted mauve color, but it's a little, I think a little bit more red than brown. But I'm still obsessed with this and I think it is wonderful. It's perfect. It's a little bit deeper than my natural lip color. So, I don't know, I think it's so cool. I can't stop looking at my lips. I just, I like the color. I think it's really super different and cool and I love it. So for orange, I just picked my Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This mascara I got actually as a gift Christmas time and I was really, I, I liked it but I didn't know how amazing it was. I was just like, I'm like, oh, you know, that's nice. But then I started using this like a few days ago and I fell right in love with it. I think I like it maybe because it dried out a little bit more. Maybe that was just my issue with it because everyone obsesses over it. And I was like, am I missing something? And I was. Um, it's just, it is so good. It look, makes your lashes look so nice and really long and gorgeous. And I'm obsessed with this. And it's super cheap too. I think it's about six, five dollars. I don't know, CoverGirl seems to be a little bit cheap with their mascaras, but I, I appreciate because I don't know. Um, next for yellow, I have this, and this is what I picked for yellow. I don't know, but it is just an eyeshadow brush from Essence of Beauty. I have talked about these brushes, I think, maybe, maybe, if we're counting correctly, a million times. I'm obsessed with this brush. I love the shape of it. I just think it is wondrous and wonderful. I'm obsessed with it. I like how it's kind of flimsy, but you can also kind of pack down shadow, blend it out. I just, I think this brush is so universal and I can literally use it for anything. The next thing I have for green, this is kind of a green color. I mean, maybe. It's from Maybelline and it's in the quad Irresistibly Ivy. I love this color. This is just kind of like an example. I like any type of color similar to this one in the middle or not the middle yeah it's the middle it's the middle and i just i just love this color so much because i think that putting this on my lower lash line just makes all the difference and i'm just like look at you like your eyes be popping because my eyes are just like brown so they're not a color so they don't naturally kind of pop and when i do something with some color eyeshadow at the bottom it's just like hey how you doing or something like that. Uh, what's the next color? Roy G. Blue. Okay. So for the blue favorite, I have this L'Oreal Paris Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Liner. I actually damaged my... I don't know. Um, I thought it was sharpenable and apparently, let's just say, it's plastic. So I sharpened plastic and I don't know how I like to screw it up or anything. So I'm just left with this, and I don't know what I did wrong. Well, I know what I did wrong, but I just, I want the color. It's so pretty. Let's see if I can swatch it by doing some crazy things. 
There we go. That's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> it's kind of messed up now, but that's okay. Um, I just, I love this. It stays on your waterline forever, and the fact that I broke it makes me very angry, but I'm going to find a way to get it back. And it actually comes with a smudger on the other end, so you know that this product is kind of something that will kind of smudge around just a little bit, but then set and keep that for the whole day, which I'm obsessed with. <sighs> Biv. Indigo. Okay. For indigo, I I googled the color indigo, and it, I think it's like a purple blue. Like, am I the only person that's like has to think about what indigo is, but I'm pretty sure, it, I mean, this is not super indigo, but uh, it's close enough, and this is the Sally Hansen Pacific Blue, and I really like this, it's just, I feel like it's such a staple with nail polishes, if you collect them to any extent, I'm sure you've heard of this or seen this in stores, maybe you even have it, it's just really nice, I like this color a super lot, mmm, yes. Now for violet, I have this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is like a violet color, right? Close enough. Cutting corners, look at us go. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. We're good. Okay, so this is just, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is just the primer potion. This is the original one. I just got it as a little sample. I have a bunch of samples of this actually so I'm not going to be purchasing it anytime soon instead of I'm just going to use up the samples instead of purchasing it but nonetheless it's still the same product and I love it I actually really like the doe foot applicator on this my elf eyelid primer also has it and that makes me super super happy I'm obsessed with this like literally I love this two pieces you are wonderful don't ever change don't listen to them bullies why do I speak sometimes? I make no sense. And now for the pink option, or favorite, or whatever you want to call this. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. I love this. This one is in Adored. It's from some collection, like a tropical collection or something. I don't know. But I, oh my god, just look at that. Please look at that. Like, ugh. I'm actually wearing it kind of basically on top of my blush. And I don't think it's too much at all. I just think it's a nice tiny bit of shine. These are so pretty. I'm obsessed. <sighs> Let me actually, I'll swatch it for you just because I love you guys. Would you look at it? And then swatching it on the hand. It is just such like a little pinkish shimmer shine. I really like it. And for my multicolored favorite, I could have gone a bunch of different routes with this. But I actually went with like neutral multi colors it's a bunch of neutral colors in a eyeshadow i'm sorry i'm really into this palette recently and i just wanted to talk about it so why not this is the devilishly dark i have such a hard time saying devilishly that's how you say it dark quad from mac and, and the specific colors are manila, manila paper gold mine honey lust and devilishly dark or maybe it's the other way around hold on manila paper gold mine Honey Lust? Manila paper, gold mine, honey lust. Okay. Wow. So, my camera just shut off on me. We're back. So, the colors in this quad, I believe it goes down and down. I'm not really sure um, if this is correct, but Manila paper, honey lust. No, Manila paper, gold mine, honey lust, and devilish dark. I think that's what they are. I don't know. But those are the colors in general. And... This is just, oh my god, it's so pretty. I just have these three on today, actually. And I just feel like when you put them on, you're just like, let's conquer the world. Let's go, let's go. This one is like basically straight up gold. Not gold, glitter. This is basically just straight up glitter. It is beauteous. I'm obsessed with it. It is so pretty. This is like the most perfect highlight I have ever seen. So you guys, so you guys. So this was the Colors of the Rainbow tag. I hope that you guys all enjoyed it. And yeah, it was super fun to make. I really like this tag. And this was fun. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Nope, that's not how we do it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and all that jazz. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.
Oh, I look like a man. I am a man. So you guys, this was my little. Because <laughs> of my collection. So this was my rainbow. No, that's not even the 